I'm in a somewhat private area. Um, I just wanted to know what, uh, what was your name again? Officer Lane. And your badge number? 7705. I feel like my rights are being violated. Why can't I have law enforcement come out with, to me, like other citizens can have? Why does everything have to be on the phone and controlled? Okay, so you're talking about Caritas? I'm, no, I'm just saying that why do I have to have law enforcement in this manner? I was talking about my head device. I feel like my rights are being violated because I don't know if my calls are authentic. And when I get, have to be forced to, to do all my business over the phone and online, that jeopardizes my safety because my devices are being hacked and it's not being investigated. All right. How can I help you today? Well, I left the environment and it doesn't seem to appear that you want to. It, it sounds like you're playing mind games. And it's psychological abuse, and I've had to endure this years. Did you call me to deny services? If Police? there's nothing I can do for you, I asked you if I could help you. You just told me there's nothing I can do. That's what you heard? Are you gaslighting me? Are you trying to stage conflict? No, I'm just pointing out that I asked you how I can help I you. I thought today. I told you that my abuser's hacking my device, and I wanted to get law enforcement like everyone else, and that I left an environment to talk to you for you to be emotionally abusive. So and then slander me. Device, you said. Can we, so Hacking? What Hacking? See, my abuser enlists people to call me and like play on the phone, but he uses government officials and other party to do it to cause psychological damage. He's gotten away with it years, and I'm trying to prove that he does that. But so I called you to report it to you. Who's giving you psychological damage? This guy that you guys keep arresting me for reporting him and won't investigate any of the reports I make regarding him. His name okay, is Jason I'm Gardner. Familiar. I've never, I've never talked to you before, so. Can, oh, can I thought when I was trying to report child abuse, you called me. Okay. And one take the report name? and started an argument, and then what's blame the me for it. Birthday? It's Kiana. That way, you have the the YouTube channel will give you evidence of what I'm stating. Well, I'm unfamiliar with that. I, I just gave you the information. Tampering with evidence is a felony. A lot of arrests are made by you know, the I'm things that people post. I think that's you. a red flag. A lot of arrests are made for things that people post on YouTube channels. Not quite okay. certain why the government don't want to see mine. Uh, I just pulled you up and uh, I'm not seeing any arrests, so I don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm not quite certain what's happening. I thought I was doing a report. Well, you, you just a second ago, you said that you were arrested and it was in relationship to making reports about a person providing or causing you psychological damage. I was trying to look into that and I'm not seeing record of any. Oh, arrests. so you called to protect them. So you call me and make me leave and be in the heat for trying to do and then we're denying a police report? I thought that was a felony. Well, you're making a false report right now. I'm making a false report by trying to report my abuser again? And I've already went, my freedom was already taken 26 times behind him? We haven't, Kiana, we haven't arrested you. I'm not, I just thought I was called to do a report. In some kind of way, there's all these misunderstandings so people don't get felony charges they're racking up. So they so use the not understanding me as a scapegoat to not get charges for crimes they're currently committing. In the state of Texas, that is a crime to report something that is not true, that you know it's not true. Not right. True. So they did it 26 times. So I like to report that the police refuse to abide by the law and haven't had consequences. Yeah. If you're taking so, someone to jail for attending, attending a domestic yeah. violence support group, yeah. then they're making false statements. You're absolutely right. Let's do something yeah. about it. You're law enforcement, right? You there? Hello? He hung up. Must be nice. Must how many patterns equal an arrest? I record everything because I know you have to see it to believe it. I was in out the heat. He didn't want that. He had a scammer call controlling everything on my phone, federal charges. Then I go to my provider demanding that they abide by the law and not defraud me out of funds. They're there interrupting me, giving me criminal trespasses and threatening my arrest so they don't go to prison. I think that the enlisting communities to where I can't get direction into crimes, that something needs to be done for these government officials that have been out of control years so they can get accountability for their, um, their behavior that seems to be like they're not mentally stable. I don't know, baby. This is how they deal with not getting with getting getting away uh, with. Have, maybe I need to calm down. Maybe this is how they deal with not getting uh, with getting away with charges that they've chosen to rack up. But I just think that this is a bit extreme to enlist neighborhoods and communities in your abuse, businesses, churches. I can't be at church properly because you don't want to go to prison for crimes you committed. 